Merry Christmas. Recently, I made a video on the best new up and coming MMORPGs for PC and console. And I saw a lot of the comments and you guys wanted me to do a mobile slash PC cross platform open world MMORPG list too. So let's just jump right into it. Number nine on this list, we have Xenonia Chrono Break, which is coming out for mobile and PC and is being developed uh, or published by Come To Us. Uh, the confirmed release is 2024. There is no official date for this game yet, but it has been launched in Korea. And Xenonia Chrono Break is a very famous franchise, so it has a lot of hype built around it. If I played it, I checked it out in Korea. It was a uh, very fun anime style. Uh, uh, but might be a little disappointment for a lot of like Xenonia fans because of the autoplay features because it is going to be on uh, mobile right and a PC but the characters in this game look good the storyline looks immersive and really good because that's where Xenonia really shines uh, but overall just a very exciting project with a big name uh, but uh, I do see a lot of like mobile features in there so we'll have to check it out when it comes to the western release hopefully they do some changes from the Korean release but we do not know yet number eight on this list we have archage war i made a video on archage war a couple months ago and this is being developed by kakao games which are pretty massive within the mobile genre especially mmo genre it is coming out for mobile and pc now the beta global beta the english beta will be in 2024 however the release of the game i don't think we're gonna get this release in 2024 i'll be very surprised if we do get the release however it is being released in the eastern uh, region already in the quarter one of 2024 so very soon and i'm going to be checking out seeing what it's all about then however this game is very pvp oriented of course inspired by the rj series but let's be real rj's has kind of been a disappointment in recent years to try to like bring out new titles to kind of revive it but Arches was once a very massive famous strong community really good uh, MMO but it's very alike you will see a lot of like uh, similar features to Lineage 2M if you guys don't know Lineage 2M is one of the most played MMOs still uh, for mobile uh, in the eastern region and there's a very similarities to it so they got sued by nc soft i don't know what happened to like the, the lawsuit but it was so so alike that they ended up getting sued but the game is still coming out it is of course going to be pay to win lots of pvp lots of pve content too uh but i i don't have too high hopes for it that's why i put it like at number eight uh but we'll see uh what it's all about hopefully uh later this year next up number seven we have odin valhalla rising another game by kakao games are the same ones that are releasing arch age but also releasing odin valhalla rising which will be on mobile and pc and it has confirmed that this game will be launching globally quarter one of 2024 so uh hopefully within a couple of months or even like next month however this game has been out for a long time in korea it is one of the most played again mobile mmos like a games do very good with their mmos however when i played it i didn't have like too good of a time and they have they, they're releasing this game pretty late like almost over two years since it actually launched in korea uh but this game has lots of pvp features a lot of like amazing the game looks really good uh a lot of like uh viking theme and mythology team uh uh, inspired by that uh, but it does have autoplay it doesn't have movement while attacking last time i checked it uh, but there is a lot of hype around the game because it is coming out two years too late in my opinion and it has a lot of futures that we're seeing in the other games on this list i'll have to give it a number seven but i do think we're gonna get finally a global launch uh this uh, or this year 2024 next up number six on the list we have a legend of ymir it is being developed by we made mobile and it's coming for mobile and pc and if you guys know about we made you guys know uh, they do a lot of like good quality games but with the blockchain technology a lot of nft involved uh, uh vmix blockchain platform involved but this game is coming out uh in 2000 beta in 2024 
However, the official date is not confirmed. We do not know when the official release of this game is going to be. And uh, like I said uh, earlier, it is a lot of like PvP focus. Another game with like Norse mythology. I think Legend of Mir is supposed to like compete with like Odin Valhalla Rising, but it's being made uh, by We Made. Uh, it's got a, again a lot of uh, PP focus. It, it, it's inspired from the Mirror series. If you guys play like Mirror Four, Mirror M, that's why it's called Legend of Ymir, right? Because it's based on or inspired by the Mirror series. So uh, the game it does look really good. It is made with Unreal Engine Five, so the quality of the game is very crisp. Uh, but however, I do not see this game being anything like groundbreaking. I think it's going to be very similar to the other games coming out this year, but with uh, the blockchain technology and let's be real when you usually have like blockchain nft games they end up being extremely pay to win so i'm really interested to see how this game is going to work out the game looks nice the quality looks nice but uh, very uh not very hyped for the whole uh, blockchain technology nft aspect of the game number five on this list we have crystal of Athlon. Uh, I think Crystal Athlon will be regarded more as an action open world uh, RPG or an MMO. Uh, not probably like a fully on MMORPG, but it recently had its uh, beta in December. It is coming out for mobile and PC on clients. The release is uh, going to be in 2024, which is confirmed. Uh, now, uh, it is an anime MMO with really cool combat. I was able to check it out during the beta. I saw a lot of videos and stuff about it too. And people are very excited for this game. It looks like a good game. It has PvP. It has a lot of PvE. The combat looks fun. looks engaging. The anime, if you like anime art style, anime characters, you will probably really enjoy this game. Because overall opinion, like community feedback around this game has been very positive from every game on this list i would say that crystal athlon has one of the most positive feedbacks uh, from the community that actually played beta it looks like a very enjoyable and fun game to play i don't know if it's like a fully open world mmorpg you can invest a lot of time in but it would be a nice game to play when you have some extra time or a secondary game to play if you're looking for a secondary game to play but overall it looks very good i haven't heard too much bad stuff about it really excited to see how the monetization is going to work in this game but uh, that is on number five crystal of atlan again coming for pcm mobile releasing in 2024 but no official uh, date yet number four on this list we have grand saga unlimited which is being developed by meta pixel which is coming out for mobile and pc and uh in 2024 hopefully 2024 uh again it's not confirmed but they have had already two global beta so the game is ready to go they had beta in the us i think and also in canada and it's another web 3 blockchain mmorpg like yes when you get to mobile games you see a lot of these blockchain mmos but you can still they can you can still play them as a proper open world mmorpg grand saga is a very like again another famous franchise they have a lot of like games previously so this is their new uh, game again anime style uh, uh mmo a lot of pvp features a lot of pve features a lot of like classes to choose between um overall looks like a very high quality high budget uh mmo uh developed by a good studio uh it's going to be really interesting with how the blockchain technology is going to work in this game again but and that does mean that the games end up being paid to win unfortunately but i like the how the game looks i've seen some gameplay footage of it the game overall looks very well made looks very good and that's why i put it that high on the list because i know that the studio making it is going to do good with it so uh hopefully launch will be in 2024 but there might be delays who knows number three in this list we have honor of kings a world being developed by timmy studios which is a sub studio of tencent uh it's gonna come out for mobile and pc with the beta in 2024 however this is just predictions there's no official dates for this game uh, it's going to be like an anime gacha game, but it has a massive budget because it is uh, the most famous, biggest MOBA on uh, your phone is Honor of Kings. So the name is taken from Honor of Kings to Honor of King World, which is going to basically be 
a massive open world MMORPG. It's a very fast paced combat. The gameplay that they've showed so far and the, everything they showed with this game looks absolutely amazing. One of the best looking, if not the best looking game on this list. A lot of fast combat, a lot of like dodge mechanics. The combat does give me like a little bit of like Genshin vibes, Tower of Fantasy vibes. So it's going to be like an anime gacha game most likely. And that's how they're going to monetize it to, to the gacha. But there's very little known about the game except from the gameplay footage we've seen. We've seen also they post a lot on their uh, Twitter page or social media, not a lot, but when they post there, they post like actual gameplay footage. So there's a lot of gameplay put footage of this game. It looks really amazing. I'm very excited for this game. That's why I put it in the top th three. And I know they're going to do very well because they have a crazy budget. If they're one of the most successful uh, MOBAs, uh, TV Studios uh, developed one of the most successful, if not the most successful MOBA on uh, the uh, mobile uh, slash PC cross platform. So I'm guessing they're trying to do the same with this game. So they invested a lot of time, a lot of money into the game. And the, all the footage we've seen so far has been absolutely high quality so that's my number three honor of king's world number two on this list we have night crows which is being developed by we made it's gonna be for mobile and pc and it's gonna hopefully we're gonna have a beta i think in quarter one in 2024 no no the pre-register is on quarter one of 2024 january 11th already and the release hopefully is going to be 2024 this game has already launched in korea i checked it out and why this game is going to be really good is first of all it is the most successful korean or eastern launch i think korea korean launch in 2023 for an mmo so no mmo beat this game in 2023 it's one of the biggest launches and that the reason for that is the game is made with unreal engine 5 it looks really good and my best way to compare this game to any other game is it's basically throne and liberty but the mobile version is basically what throne and liberty was before they did their fixes uh, it has high quality gameplay, a lot of PvP, PvE, but it's made for mobile, right? But it also has a PC client, of course. And but it is being developed by We Made, and like I said, the like earlier games were like Legend of Ymir and stuff. We Made, uh, it's a blockchain game. So in this game, you will be able to, uh, you know, grind uh, cryptocurrency, NFTs, probably use those to trade with items within the game. So overall, I do think Nycros looks absolutely incredible it has a lot of like a beautiful world a lot of pvp a lot of pve content but i think the blockchain that it doesn't work in the western release so hopefully they make some changes to it before releasing in the western uh region but i don't think they're gonna make any massive change because it was so successful in eastern release and usually like when it comes to mobile games or cross-platform games like these they don't uh they don't make changes for the western release they're just they're like yeah it was successful there we're just gonna do the same thing uh, in the western release so most likely it's not gonna do as good uh, but I'm still going to be checking it out. It does look like a high quality MMO. So Nacro is very exciting overall. Number one on this list, you guys probably saw this coming, is uh, Taurus Land. Now, Taurus Land had a very rocky, controversial beta. It is being developed by Tencent uh, for mobile and PC with its launch, predicted launch being quarter one slash quarter two of 2024. Uh, now, there was a lot of controversy around it because of their lies about the pay to win. However, they come out with a new statement. I made a video on it if you guys want to check it out about them removing gender lock and then reducing the pay to win however it doesn't seem like the pay to win is going to be completely removed but they have limited down by a lot and from these games on these lists i have to give tardis land number one because uh, tardis land feels on this list most like a pc mmo uh out of all of these games on this list it's probably the most successful cross-platform mmo will it do really good for around pc players probably not but it's the best crossfire mmo and for mobile it's going to be the best by far in my opinion and there is no crypto nft aspects which is really nice you know and we kind of know it's going to be really fun and grindy classical style traditional style mmo that's why i have to give it number one on this list because 
I can't be biased. At the end of the day, Tarzan Land is uh, the better MMOs from all the other games on this list. But that is the list for mobiles and PC cross-platform MMOs coming out in 2024. If you guys enjoyed this list or if you're looking for a full-on PC MMO list, <clears throat> check out my last video. But that is this. Remember, most of these dates are not confirmed. They're very predicted by me. Some of them are confirmed, like I mentioned, but most of them are just predictions what when I think they will release. And usually I'm right on these release dates, uh, but some of them are going to just have betas in 2024, while some of them are actually going to launch in 2024. And most of these games are going to be launching in 2024. Uh, I think a couple of them will just have like a beta, like Honor of Kings World. I don't see it having like a proper launch in 2024, but I do see a beta coming. <clears throat> I think uh, Legends of Ymir will also probably just have a beta. Uh, will not be fully launching. Uh, and I think maybe, maybe Archage War will also only have a beta in 2024. But all, all the other games I do see actually releasing in 2024. That is it. Let me know if you guys agree which games are you guys looking the most forward to. Let me know in the comments below. Check out this video right here. And I'll see you guys next time.